This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Hi friends. So yesterday we have developed this particular logistic regression. Okay. So this experiment we have, what we are going to do is we have already seen how you can clean the data and how you can select the data and then how you can train your model. So our experiment is ready and we also have seen how you can deploy your model to the web services that we have discussed. So what we are going to do today is I have two. Uh, so I have a new data set in a blob storage. If you see here, I have a new data set. This new data set, I'm going to pass it to my model. My model is going to analyze this data and prediction details, okay? That prediction details, it is going to store it in a output data set folder. So this particular model, I'm going to execute from the Edu data factory machine learning activity. How you can do that? So you just have to come to author tab. <coughs> Okay, so first thing that you need to do is you need to create a pipeline. Just click pipeline. Okay, so once you click pipeline, you will be able to see something called machine learning activity. Okay, just to drag this ML batch execution. Okay, so here if you see this is the just name of your activity. This is I will say my ML. Okay, what is this logistic regression? Okay, so logistic regression. Just I am saying this is my logistic regression and the description if you want to give something for um, prediction of what suppose whether this is a loan prediction. Okay, loan prediction. Particular loan will be sanctioned to the user or not prediction difference. So this thing you can just give for which purpose. So time out suppose this particular experiment is running for about seven hours. Then what happens is then you will get a, some error saying that time out error because you are saying time out maximum this much time it should run. Okay, maximum you are saying here seven days. This is seven days friends actually. Okay, this is a seven days. Suppose if you think seven hours if you want what you have to do is this one you have to make it as a seven. This one you have to make it as a zero. But right now I am keeping everything is a default. <coughs> okay, so prediction next. Okay, next if you see retry suppose if it is failed in first attempt. So do you want to retry once again? How many times you want to retry? So those many times let's say I am saying two times I want to retry if it is failed two times. So before it start if before it retry. So how much time it has to take how much gap you want to give. Okay, so that is okay that interval that interval is you are going to specify in a second suppose 30 seconds means once the experiment has failed then it will take 30 seconds then it will restart again it will retry to uh, find the prediction details okay so if you want to secure your input and output you have to enable these things i am not enabling now come to azure ml studio so here you need to connect to your web services how you can connect to web services is just click new okay this is your ml connection just to give ml Okay, ML connection. This is my integration on time compute power that we are providing to ADF. This is the endpoint. So as we discussed yesterday, we have taken this URL. So I am just copying this URL, copy this URL and paste it here. Then API key, API key also we have here. So just to take this API key which we have extracted from the web services. Okay, test connection. So connection is successful. Just click create friends. Once it has created what you need to do is just come to settings. I need to provide some input data. So I need to provide some data so that it will give the result resultant prediction details. Okay, so I need to tell where is my input data. Okay, let's say my input one is so it is available in a blob. So I'm saying blob connection blob connection is nothing but a so where I have a my input data if you see if you open this one you will be able to see i have connected to blob storage 12 10 so here my data is there okay just you can connect to it then you can browse for your input data so here input data set you have go inside input data so you have a something called input data dot xls okay just to come down you are able to see web service output okay just click new okay so this one I am going to say that uh, this is the output one. Okay. So where I want to store this output one is in the blob connection, same storage in a output data set folder. Click OK. So I will say here it has to store my result in a out.csv here. Okay, friends. 
that's it friends if you have any global variables you can declare for now i'm not declaring anything you can publish all okay after that what you can do is you can publish all once publishing is completed what you need to do here you can you can schedule it when it has to uh, uh, run or what else you can do is you can run right now immediately if you want to run trigger now click finish come to monitor tab here you can monitor your uh, ml okay click here so your model has failed why your model has failed because you have saved your data as a xls okay so if your data is in a xls what happens is it will not succeed okay it will fail because your data here input it will allow only csv and other formats that formats i will discuss with you but it will allow only uh, one second friends let me just check where is my data mm, let me go here documents so this is my input data okay just to open this input data and save it as a csv okay, okay. save it as a csv file save as save as your csv and save it on desktop for now let's save it on a desktop because i need to import quickly we don't have much time let's click here now what i do is i will just upload this one because why it is not telling excel sx because excel sx will have a multiple excel sx will have a multiple sheets but it cannot read the multiple sheets okay so where is your input data you have to search for your input data input data dot csv you can give to open it and you can overwrite if it is already exist click upload okay friends after upload you come back to your uh, activity here okay go to your author tab click here uh, just click azure ml server settings so in settings now your input has changed from excel sx to csv just give csv let's not uh, save it because it is going to take some time just click on debug okay so if you click debug it without saving your activity is going to run here friends okay friends so this is succeeded this is succeeded now so what else you can do you can publish all and you can run if you think something so it is succeeding in debug you can publish and you can run so both are same as i said debug is just without save if you want to check as a developer quickly if you want to check whether this activity is running as expected or not whether your change is working as expected or not you are always going to click on debug not a trigger okay trigger now you are going to click only after once everything is set up and you want to run something manually in those cases you are going to run this one in a trigger mode okay so you just click here you will be able to see this is going to be succeeded but excel sx file was not succeeded because it is going to have a multiple sheets multiple sheets it cannot read because we are not handling multiple sheets okay that one we have to handle in the our model our experiment itself we have to handle that one okay we have not handled that's why we have handled only csv we have trained the model with the csv files just wait few more seconds for it will it is going to succeed okay see it is succeeded it is succeeded now if you go to upload file this is uploaded and if you go here if you go output data set now time if you see 9 9 am so when it is it came just now okay 9 9 34 seconds okay if you want to download this file click on that and click download and then you can open this file to check whether 
what is the prediction details okay suppose i have taken only three records let's see now it is this file Okay, let me download on second. I think it is not downloaded. It's downloaded already, but why it is not? Okay, it's open. See now here you can see friends. So as per our understanding, what we have given data is y n y. So this person is probability of getting loan approval is s. Okay, more. So this person won't get. This person will get. That's what we have given. But what our model is saying? Our model is saying everybody is going to get the. loan so if, for everybody loan is going to up to what is the percentage of getting the approval is 0.73 our probability as we discussed probability is always going to be from 0 to 1 okay so how you can maintain the values 0 to 1 so for that we have applied the exponential and log so the, those things you can apply and you can get the value you can maintain the probability be, between 0 and 1 because always the probability is going to be 0 and 1 if you see a 0.7 percentage we have a probability of getting the approval here for this user 0.7339 7330 this person 0.7915 okay so if you want to check the accuracy and all those things we have checked in the logistic regression yesterday friends okay so the accuracy of your experiment all those things we have verified okay so now let's do uh, our uh, clustering okay 